welcome guys uh, the next uh, core data type that we are gonna explore is sets the most neglected and at uh, the most useful in mathematical computations so sets are at an another class or core object type in python which is a recent addition to the language that are neither mappings nor sequences neither mappings nor uh, sequences uh, the unique and versatile uh, feature of set which is wisely which is widely useful is these are unordered collections of unique and immutable objects only immutable note this point immutable objects only okay unique and immutable then uh, sets are created by calling the built-in set function or using the new set uh, literals and expressions in 3.0 python uh, 3.0 and they support uh, the usual mathematical set operations you can see uh, how to generate uh, a set object here to generate a set object uh, pass in a sequence sequence or other iterable object for us spam is an iterable object that's a string object iterable object to the built-in uh, set function as uh, shown here and uh, reference all uh, this set uh, to a name or variable called x so you can uh, you can use that uh, x uh, for later use and then so this is a different way of uh, uh, generating a set object you can directly use a set literals this is uh, from python uh, 3.4 you can directly use set literals and uh, you can uh, include uh, an uh, immutable objects uh, inside it so now the next question comes it's worth uh, noting that sets can only contain immutable echo hashable object types hence hence lists and dictionaries cannot be embedded in sets but tuples can if you need to store compound values so tuples uh, compare by their full values when used in set operations brilliant fantastic now you may get a doubt that sets themselves are mutable so is it possible to nest one set in another set directly s no no no, no. s s it is not possible directly but if you want you can do the same using the frozen set frozen set is a built-in call so which works just like a set but creates an immutable set that cannot change and thus can be embedded in other sets a brilliant idea to embed sets inside another set nice 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 so now uh, we will uh, move into move on to sets in action so now it's time to explore a bit about how these sets behave in uh, uh, different situations let's put the tuples in action now so uh, the following are the maximum operations that we can do with sets we'll begin with as usual we'll begin with uh, uh, basic operations uh, so here we can find we can find we can find the length uh, or length of the set and uh, the another way to uh, uh, we use some literals to generate a set and some basic mathematical operations such as intersection union differences using uh, uh, respective uh, characters uh, that we have and the second one is uh, set iterations and comprehensions set sets as iterable containers sets can also be used in operations such as for loops and list comprehensions you can see here clearly and then uh, their sets are unordered 
and they don't support sequence operations like indexing and slicing. This is very, very important. Sets are unordered and they don't support sequence operations such as indexing and slicing. And then the final one is set specific methods. These are uh, most personal and native actions or uh, behavior of sets. The following are all specific to tuple type only. So add, clear, copy, difference, difference update, discard, intersection, intersection update, is disjoint, is subset, is superset, pop, remove, symmetric difference, symmetric difference, update, union, update. These are all different set specific methods. Eventually, we will code all these, I uh, uh, will code and experiment these types set specific methods in our Jupyter uh, uh, notebook. Uh, Violet, let's jump into the Jupyter notebook right now. Okay. Yes, we are in. Of course, you are also in with me. Okay. We'll begin with the basic operations. In basic operations, the first thing we will look into is how to generate a set object. The first method I use is set. So here I used a iterable object, a string object. It is Hare Krishna, Hare Rama. Now, what I want to get from this string object is I want to get what all what all unique alphabets it consists of. So that's what my uh, uh, expectation from this code. Let's see what we'll get it. So it has Hare Krishna, Hare Rama, out of which uh, I just want a unique uh, alphabets. Uh, of course, it is not ordered also. Let's check. So I use a set inbuilt uh, function to make this. So if you see here, see, H, K, R, A, E, H, these are all unique. There is no repetition of, basically it has A three to four times. But yeah, we got only ones. So these are all unique. This is the benefit of, uh, this is the uh, main purpose of using a set object. It will filter out all duplicates from your data set. How nice it is. And the second way of uh, uh, generating a set object is a reference variable alphabets and then curly braces open and then put uh, whatever objects you want to enter and then let's execute this and we'll see so it will remove all duplicates and then it will give you only 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 unique okay let me add a here and let's execute and see still we got only one a let me add one more a and let me check. Still, you have only one more year. So that's how it works. So it gives you a unique, unique letter and alphabets. And these are the two sets we have. Now we have two sets. One is unique letters from a string object that we have mentioned and then some alphabet alphabets so now what we want to do we want to do some mathematical operations we just want to uh, see uh, the common uh, uh, the common letters in uh, both sets so these kind of some mathematical operations we want to do let's see so the first one is we want to find out the intersection so intersection is how many letters are common in both sets that's what we want to know common in both sets let's check Unique letters is one set from Hare Krishna, Hare Rama and alphabets, alphabets is another set which has some uh, alphabets in it. Uh, let's check uh, what all uh, the common uh, letters we have out of the both sets. 
it is a e h i h h i these are the common letters in it now we'll make a union out of the both the sets let's see what is the union comes out so what are the letters present in both sets together so this is another way so ampersand is for the intersection and then vertical line is for the uh, union let's see so this is the union of both the sets this set both the sets together consists of these alpha these letters only now we'll get a difference and difference for difference uh, what it does is it take out the alpha bits set letters from the unique letter set when i say unique letter minus alphabets so whatever alphabet letters are there inside the unique letter it will remove the common ones let's see h k r m n r s whatever this uh, whatever uh, th whatever uh, uh, letters that are related to alphabets has been uh, alphabets has been uh, removed then we'll see set iterations and uh, comprehension the second uh, most important operation so for example it is as similar as uh, uh, to the other comprehensions whether it is list or uh, uh, dict or uh, tuple so here but the expression or the literal changes it uh, basically starts with the curly braces and the, as usual you will have a target variable and then loop a complete loop out of which you will have a, a loop variable inside it and then yeah and then your uh, member and then your membership uh, operator and then your iterable object or string so let's execute it and we'll see so out of which we made a set now as each uh, after making a set each item inside will be uh, a string object so obviously uh, we can do some repetition and then uh, so some other operations we will do here again the target whatever we want to do the target operation we can do here that is c times 4 uh, we want to repeat each uh, object or each letter in hurry four times and then for loop a keyword and then uh, loop variable and then membership operator and then the iterable object or what we call it a simple is a hurry string let's execute and let's execute it and uh, see so this is what we got it okay and uh, we will do the same uh, set uh, iteration or uh, set comprehension uh, for the list uh, object which consists of an int objects in it okay so again we'll begin with the target that's x power 2 and then for keyword x loop variable membership in this so let's execute and we got the set of uh, squares of uh, list of uh, 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 so this is all uh, uh, about uh, uh, list uh, set iteration and then comprehension now we will move into the set specific methods we have plenty of set specific methods uh, let's go one by one so what we'll do is the first example we'll take is uh, example list of unique other ids for state of karnataka okay so other is equals to list of so these are different other ids example so that's a one set example okay now what i want to do is so in our village uh, we got uh, one more uh, one more person uh, got an other card so that's the reason i want to add that uh, uh, new person's other id also in this because uh, what we'll have in it is we will have a unique uh, items only so that's the reason i'm using this uh, set 
to store my other IDs in our village. Okay, fantastic so far. Now, uh, first we'll use add method. Add an element to a set. This has no effect if the element is already present. Okay, nice. So I just wanted, I just want to add this new other ID of a new person. Let's see. Yes, we got it added. Three, four, five. Somewhere here it got added. Okay, fantastic. Then what we will next method we will look into is clear. So clear what it does? It removes all elements from the set. Okay. Let's clear the other set object and let's check. So let's execute this. It is empty set. Nothing is there in it. And if you still have doubt, let's uh, check the length of uh, other set. Zero. Nothing is there in it. It got cleared off. It got cleared off, washed away by the clear method. Then we will make a new other set object and then to uh, experiment with the other methods. And then finally, and then next, uh, what we have is a copy method. For copy method, it returns a shallow copy of a set. We will just copy the other set object. So this is the copy of the same. Next, we will use a difference method. It returns difference of two or more sets as a new set. Whatever there are the differences between these two sets, that will become a, a new set for us. That's all elements that are in, the, in this set, uh, but not the others. So here we have alphabets is one set and then unique letter is one set. So now what we'll do is we will see the what all different letters that are different uh, uh, from uh, unique letter set. So these are all. So and it has actually created a new set and difference update so difference update remove all elements of another set from this set that is the difference between a different uh, difference method and then uh, difference uh, update method so what it does here is there it will just uh, show it as a uh, there it will just show it as a new set whereas here it will remove all elements of another set from this set so what I did is alphabets is one set and I just want to get the difference update from the unique letters. So whatever letters that are different from unique letter of alphabets is I want. So I'll execute. See. So from alphabets basically some of the letters have been removed. If you see here alphabets. See, alphabet is this bigger. Whichever is common to the, uh, whichever is different uh, to the uh, unique letter that has been uh, removed. Now, the next thing is discard. So, discard remove an element from a set if it is a member. If the element is not a member, it does nothing. So, 2709475, it is a member. Let's discard that person because uh, that person has been uh, moved to the another state. So, we just want to move that person, uh, remove that person from our uh, other list. Let's see. Let's remove. Yes. So, this that guy has been uh, removed or discarded. Discarded from our other list. And then, intersection. Intersection again return the intersection of two sets as a new set. That's it. We have a unique letter name one that is Rama Ravi Narayana. So we want whatever the uh, unique letters in that name 
and then uh, second one is unique letter name to Hari Rama Shivanadar. So uh, we want a unique letter out of which and we I just I'm just curious to know that uh, what all letters are common in uh, both the in both the names so unique letter one uh, unique letter name to intersection of unique letter name one let's see n r a i m r v these are the common letters uh, out of uh, uh, both the names now uh, let's uh, use the same thing intersection update method update a set with the intersection of itself and another so it, it actually updates that and then we have disjoint so disjoint return true return true if uh, two sets have a null intersection of course unique letter name two is disjoint is disjoint unique letter name one not at all because it is not a null uh, intersection they have some uh, common common letters uh, in between so that's why you got false and these are all checking whether is subset or is disjoint and all now uh, what the output we get is a false that's a boolean object and then what we use is is subset is subset is a report whether another set contains this set or not so now i just want to check unique letter name one set is subset of unique letter name two let's check whether it is subset or not actually it, it is actually not to become uh, uh, to become eligible as a subset uh, it should have uh, same uh, at least some amount of uh, uh, letters in it and then uh, we have taken other way around Ah, this is super set for super set it has come true now pop remove and return an arbitrary set element arises key error if the set is empty other dot pop it just a uh, remove and return any arbitrary set element and it shows that so this is one uh, 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 other id that has been uh, removed and let's check what all left in the other so only we are left with one other so that means another guy has also been uh, removed arbitrarily and uh, now uh, in our village only one guy is left now we'll check what we can do with that remove remove an element from a set it must be a member if the element is not a member raises a key error so now alphabets dot remove yeah uh, actually i have taken the uh, uh, alphabet set and i just want to remove one so basically i have removed earlier i guess so that's the reason alphabets dot remove alphabets key error is uh, remove let's uh, go up and uh, where is that uh, unique letter set specific uh, alphabets it is here it is is disjoint pop a remove that's it it got removed a from the alphabets has been uh, removed and whatever left is left that's alphabets has been shown the symmetric difference returns the symmetric difference of two sets as a new set that's all elements that are in exactly one of the sets. That's called symmetric difference. And comma y. Now union we have discussed earlier, but here we are uh, doing with the uh, method where there we have used uh, a symbol, a character. So this is the union of uh, both the alphabets and then uh, unique letters uh, sets. And let's update. Update a set with the union of itself and then others. When you use, so we'll get a new set, a completely new set. So, so with this, we are actually 
done with uh, uh, a mathematical operator object uh, that is uh, sets i hope uh, you will practice more and it will be very useful uh, when uh, working with uh, uh, mathematical uh, applications and uh, even in data science it will be very useful for the analytics it will be very useful so that's the reason keep practicing it and then uh, i hope uh, you are enjoying uh, my videos and getting some uh, uh, knowledge out of it uh, out of it and uh, i hope uh, i would like to request you that uh, keep uh, subscribing and then keep uh, liking the videos and keep watching it and then uh, keep spreading the word to your friends so that they can all also get uh, benefit uh, from it and uh, for now uh, I would like to say bye bye and then uh, I will meet you in next uh, session and uh, thanks and uh, see you again.